Well, hey there. Well, today I wanted to shoot a video of uh, this uh, pawpaw graph that I did. I've uh, shared this video, or I've shot a video of this graph once before. It's been extremely hot this week, and I'm just doing whatever I can to try try to keep uh, all my graphs alive. And this right here, by the way, is a uh, mango, which was grafted May 31st, the last day of May. I had uh, I did a video on this once before, and I just thought, you know what, I'd like to do another video of it. And the rubber bands have pretty much rotted and broken off and I'll go ahead and take this rubber band here off if I can at least part of it anyways because that rubber band being around there tight like that we call it a garter over a period of time around that graft and <clears throat> I have to say it that I am really, really pleased that rubber band came completely off. How well this particular graph did. This right here, incidentally, is the mango graph that I had shared uh, earlier this year. It's got three graphs in it. Uh, all three scion pieces of scion that are in here are mango and I just converted that tree into one particular variety I don't even have any suckers growing or uh, stuff growing be below the graft uh, evidently the tree liked it <laughs> I don't know, but it's doing well nonetheless. This right here, incidentally, is a root sucker as I had explained before. Each piece of scion wood, I only used two buds to graft in, uh, to do my grafting with. and. Out of these buds, all of them woke up and began to grow. I'm very excited by this tree. Uh, it's really, really doing good. The base of the tree is really thick. And that's the reason why I went so high up into the tree to graft. Try to match up the scion wood to the stem that I was dealing with. And like I said, I am very, very pleased at how this graft is done. <clears throat> it's actually the best one out of all of them. <clears throat> You know, the one thing I did find as I grafted uh, and as the grafts took off, the lower limbs were the first ones to really show signs of growing. And uh, like this one right here in itself came out right here. We've grown all the way up to here. Uh, we're looking at 10, 11, maybe 12 inches of growth. I don't know, probably more like 11 inches of growth off that one little stem uh, off that uh, scion. And this scion itself, although I got a little bit of a crook here, and a lot of that comes from the cage that's been around it. And it's, it's really, really done well. This stem woke up and started showing signs of growth before the stem over here and 
it's gotten more growth out of it than the stem on the other side. I'll call this stem number one. Stem number two, which is probably about two inches higher up into the tree. And then up here at the very top, I've got, oh, three to four inches of growth. And like I said, it's the best looking uh, graft as far as growth wise that I have out here. And I am very, very pleased. We've been dealing with 90 plus temperatures. Uh, we're pushing two weeks now. And uh, what I've been doing is, is coming out here, uh, I don't have the availability of the water hose out here like I do out back around my uh, fruit garden uh, to mist the burlap uh, enclosure. But I've been coming out here and misting the leaves. I'm down here in the bottom. This down in here is more moist. The grass tends to grow faster down in here than it does further uphill. So it, it became a good scenario for this particular graph. Now, as you can see, I have two other trees right there behind me. Those are uh, seedlings that came from uh, an Amish uh, tree farmer uh, whom I bought trees from in the past from. And <clears throat> those were purchased last year and planted last spring. And as you can see, uh, they, they're doing very, very well. And I have two other trees to the right of them. They were uh, root suckers that I had grafted into. Uh, one of them is a uh, NC1, and the farthest one is another mango, which the farthest one, it's doing all right, but it, not nearly as good as this or the NC1. I'm going to give it time to see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. But anywho, just something that I wanted to share with you. Uh, the excitement that I have as far as what's going on. The one thing that I will say that I've noticed in all my graphs, the NC1 tends to have a very wide leaf pattern and the overleaves is much more narrow and down at the end it widens up. This one right here is, is more of a happy medium between the two and uh, I've yet to know how the fruit will be with it but you know what at the rate that that's going uh, I'm thinking probably three years at the most I may see fruit on that Let's see if I can get things put back in the way it was now I, I used a I'm gonna have to get a hammer and tamp that back in place. And it came out right there. Yeah, I have to get a hammer and tamp that back in place. But, I wound up using a tomato cage over top of this. to uh, care for it and I've only taken it off twice normally I come out here and I'm able to spray through the burlap to give it the moisture I'm after. I'll get a hammer out here to tamp that back in place. 
burlap will uh, protect it to a degree uh, from sunlight keep it from burning as badly a little bit of mist on the burlap whatever airflow goes through there will uh, help keep it a little bit cooler than what it is out here because the burlap's wet. Got to do what I have to do. Take care of my little pawpaw. With the water hose, I'm able to use the shower function on the nozzle spray and really saturate the whole thing. But you can only do so much with a sprayer, a little squeeze spray that is, like what I have right here. Paul Paul. It's an amazing tree to deal with. It's been two weeks since I've uncovered that. And I don't know why I just threw that down here. It's been two weeks since I've uncovered that. And uh, it'll be another two weeks before I uncover it. But come this fall, I'll take this up, put a fence around it, and it'll be in full sun. Once again, it was in full sun before I grafted it. The uh, root sucker itself was ever bit as big as the two seedlings right here behind me that I had uh, talked about. Anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. And don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.